Succession has listed a combustible debate recently as scholars, politicians, and members of the first family appear to offer their voice over this veritable subject. Why has the ruling party never held a discussion on the debate for the last 31 years? Is there an unwritten rule which restricts this debate? On the spot night is former General Duties Minister Professor Tassis Kabwejere, Bugwere County MP Abdul Katuntu, Kampala Woman MP Nabila Sempala Nagai, and Dr. Patrick Wakida, who is the CEO of Research World International. Gentlemen and lady, welcome to the show. Uh, the national spotlight is on you tonight. Welcome on the spot. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Let me begin from my uh, immediate uh, left here with Professor Tassis Kabwejere. President Yoweri Museveni is, has made 31 years in power now. And uh, when you came in, in, in the, the, the whole idea was that he was going to rule for maybe four years. And after that, you talk about how... Uh, this going, he was be, supposed to be a transition of four years. But now, four years, it's now 31 and you're still counting. Yes. So what? <laughs> so you're so stuck on the same position for 31 years and you even say, so what? Uh, Mr. Kamara, <coughs> we can't sit here in this room, <coughs> on this program, and force history and tell what history should be. When Yoweri Museveni came in as president in 86, who knew that he was going to be president? Today, on the 16th of uh, March, why are we interested in who is the president in five years' time? What is the issue? In social analysis, we call this misplaced concreteness. <laughs> when you, you run at, at an issue, <laughs> at random, and you, you, is, it an, is it an issue today in Uganda that we talk about succession? Is that the primary issue? For me, Mr. Kamara, today the challenge we have is managing success. And I want to repeat, managing success. That to me is the biggest challenge we have. It's not about succession, it's not about who, it's about how do we manage success. A number of things have occurred in Uganda and produced big successes. And success unlike failure does not produce success automatically. Failure produces failure. There is no way failure can produce success. It produces failure. But success cannot automatically produce success. Now what stands out as success in this, for your oh. case, Professor Tassis Kabujeri? This program is a, an, a manifestation of success in Uganda. Those of us who have been around, we know that talking about succession is itself a major achievement in Uganda's politics. We know that. We know a major, a major success of 31 years of continuous leadership. <laughs> that is a major success. You know, <laughs> those of us who have been around here, 60, 61, 62, 62. Okay, okay. Let me know the others. Really, Professor you know, Kabajiri, you you're coming, saying that for people to be able to sit and debate and even discuss on a TV station like this is your measure of success? Success. Is that the measure of success? Success is something good. There are many good things that have occurred in this country which we want to continue, which we want to implant and, and grow roots. Okay? But people are now running a succession. 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 Is there no mechanism? Parties have programs of success. Don't they have? Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know that NRM can call a national conference and they choose a candidate for next year, next uh, presidential elections. The same thing with the FDC, the same thing with the, any other party. 
do we need now to sit here and say, oh, who is going to succeed who? People choose. Now we have such a freedom that people can stand. Katun here, Honorable Katun can want to stand for presidency. Let him declare his interest. Now, must we really insist somebody must uh, organize a successor, a successor, uh, and this is not a kingdom. Yeah, but it's that somebody is acting with so much power vested to him, and all the institutions have died. It's just one person who seems to be running the show. If the institutions are working perfect, maybe Kamara. there wouldn't be a debate. But let me no, no, no. Before but this you, is how no, I no, look at it. No, no. If you <laughs> say institutions have died, you want to demonstrate that institutions have died. Which institution have you buried that has died? Every time you go to parliament, it's a caucus that is managing things she of is. the NRM. Even that caucus itself, when you disagree, it's an individual who is going to call the shots. But you are a chairman here. Yeah. You are yeah. a chairman yeah. here. Yeah. You are going to call shots in this program. <laughs> yes. So what is so new about... Okay, I, I, had, I, I, had, I had the president, <laughs> I had an opportunity to interview the president in 2012, and uh, he said, well, come uh, at, at 75, he thought uh, it is scientific, you are not good enough to be leader. And his counsel was, at 75, maybe you should get somebody better. But let me imp in bring in other people, uh, Dr. Patrick Wakida. Uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, Professor Tashis Kabwejelis uh, looks at Uganda, we are buoyant, we are... Uh, you know, a float well, and we shouldn't be talking about something like you this. You see, what has happened with the generation of Professor Kawejere is that they have taken everything in a simple perspective. Why? They practice a lot of simplicity oh, oh, oh. in whatever they see. <laughs> the concept we are discussing here is actually very important. Yes. We have moved away from success. We are saying, how do we manage a transition? Of the good thing Kawajiri has done and his generation to continue. Mr. Kawajiri, Professor Kawajiri, I am sure you have children. Sure. I am sure within your clan, at your age, people have started talking about who is the good son, who is likely to. Because naturally, it is inevitable. L let me give you an example. You are a farmer, we're talking about farming. <coughs> In farming, we have the banana plant. The banana plant has got the young ones. The older one, in my language, we call it chikolokoro. Uh, we also call it a mitumb. Mm -hmm. There is another word we, we, we used to use called exiku. Exiku, however much you put fertilizers, it will never never put on matoke but it can stay the danger with the kisiku is that if not properly uprooted it can leave worms now most people have said this kisiku these people are still strong i can tell you a kisiku can be as strong as being able to break a hole that's a wrong image you get the point now we have had a situation whereby people have pretended to assume that it's a constant. Professor, you remember the, when you were 20 years ago? You were very strong. By the way, any of them is on record. They have performed. Mr. Professor here and, and his generation, they have performed. But we must manage that transition. And that is what Kamara is trying to talk about. Now, 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 now when you begin to say... Uh, we should be talking about how to manage success. You are missing a point, Professor. Who is stopping you talking and, about And success? that is what we must let, talk let, about. Let me spread the discussion to yes. Honorable Nabila. Uh, probably there is a constitution mm. and there is a timetable for electing leaders. Mm. And I'm beginning to think, maybe Professor Kavajir has a point. There is a constitution and a timetable for elections. And their parties, they have their okay. programs. Uh, I think... What we are failing to understand here is that processes are managed by people. Exactly. And these people are leaders. And we have an obligation across board to talk about uh, the cycle of leadership. Like we say, the generations. 
if you're talking about a clan and you're an African, you know very well that once in a while there was a grandfather, there was a father, and there's a son, and there's a grandson. So we cannot insist that the third generation has no relevancy in managing the country. The country. No. So if the first generation is insisting on maintaining power, then we've lost it as a country. We, we miss an opportunity of continuity, of passing over knowledge. Why? Yes, because when we have advisory roles, we reserve them for people who have experience, people who've been there, people whom you can consult, people who've served. If those people who've served refuse to relinquish power <laughs> and refuse to be uh, like uh, guards of wisdom who can be consulted every once in a while, then you know that that country is going to make mistakes because those who are charged with passing over information from one generation to the next have refused intentionally to do so. That applies to you. I don't know. You, you. can you have one at a time. Uh, excuse me. I think um, Professor Kawejere knows very well that he's uh, an obi of my father in Tari well. school. And my dad retired. Yeah. And he's a happy man. So he's got wisdom. <laughs> he's got wisdom. Okay. <laughs> and every once in a while before I come here. My dad is an obi of my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know. He has much more wisdom. And he has much more wisdom okay. because he's calm, he's settled. And he's watching to see how we perform. And every once in a while, even when you're coming for such a program, say, watch us. And, you know, say, don't talk about this. Actually, I told him we are coming and uh, there's Professor Kawaja. I said, oh, send him my regards. It's not like uh, he's unhappy, but because he's happy to see that is the next generation able to lead this country. That's what we need to talk about. Running away from such important debates does not help this country. Okay, uh, uh, Honorable Abdul Katuntu, the, the NRM government, they, they have, you know, have had their achievements, have had their success story, and also managing a power for 31 years is yeah. an achievement in yeah. itself, because if you look around the region, some people could not even manage power for a, a year or two, but on your own corner, for example, on FDC, uh, do you have what it takes, for example, if you were to, to take power and, 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 and retain it? <laughs> what do you expect me to say? Because you don't. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> but no, but, but let me, uh, even you, we all see the same, for example, the same person again and again, and, and you wouldn't be preaching to the rest of Ugandans, look, transition and stuff like that. Only you seem also to be stuck with just one person. I, I think we miss the point, and the Professor Kabeja does it deliberately to divert us from uh, the subject and he, 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 because I'm also he, going to say you are, he, he, you are deliberate. But I've not said anything. <laughs> okay, go uh, ahead. He tries to <laughs> vulgarize the subject and brings in success. You see, the issue of success is not contradictory to, succe to yeah. succession. They are not. Yes, you may have those successes he is proud of. They may be debatable, of course. But that does not mean that we can talk about transition. And it may be transition from one political party to the other. It may be transition from his generation to another generation before it reaches my generation. And all these we are going to discuss it. The debate actually these days, uh, uh, Mr. Kamara, was generated I think by Mr. Odrek Ruabok. And he was talking about succession even within his own political party. And he was talking about a generational as, uh, uh, I think aspiration. Uh, and, and, and Professor Kaveja, I pity you because our viewpoints about the politics seems now to be different. You, you're sort of stuck in the politics of yesterday. Oh. The world has <laughs> since then moved. <laughs> you, you, you can't just start telling people, you know, when we came here we couldn't talk. So what? We are not going to be what we call hostage of the past. Of course not. We have to move on. You see, this is what uh, uh, General Mugisha Monto always talks about. That if you are said to move to Mombasa, and after nine years you are where you're getting, you can't say, you know, we were in Kampala nine hours ago, but 
you, why are you supposed to be after nine hours? So yes, there could be some achievement, but that will not stop the issue of succession. And let me tell you why. It has been going on for some time, right from the time of the late Wapakabulu. You remember? At the time it became NPC and everybody thought actually was the natural successor of President Yoweri Museven. Then it came to the late uh, area Kategaya, right honorable. It didn't come to pass. Then it came to the right honorable Amamambalas. It didn't come to pass. And now, young people, actually even younger than me now, like Audrey Wavogo, who are saying, excuse us, can we talk about these things? Even people who have been in the corridors power, of power, like uh, the Honorable Amelia Chambad, of co closer than Professor Kabejaria in the corridors of power, I think, no, 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 I think there are issues of succession, transition, which Dr. Wakeda is talking about. We have to discuss it. So, we need to discuss the generation transition, political party transition, but also even individual succession. You know, you, you can't stay in that office like a Professor Kabejere thinks until you just drop. Because when you drop, I'm telling all of us are cooked, you drop on our heads, on our, uh, on our legs, and so on. So we need to plan how do you live, Professor okay. Kabejere. Thank you. And uh, that uh, is let, not let me, topable. Let me get back to Professor Tassis Kabejere. Considering our tumultuous past, our history, the anarchy, the bloodshed, now that we've had this at one year's of President Museveni uh, uh, leading this country, and, and he has uh, an age limit coming in four years' time. Isn't it proper that really this, uh, after 31 or 35 years, the transition is debated upon, and then uh, there is some kind of a smooth transition that we you never you had? Know, you know what, what confuses me, and I've been trying to understand, when are we doing the right thing? On succession. If I ask uh, Honorable Katuntu, tell me what should we now talk about succession? And can you give me an idea that we have concluded the debate on succession? That we have actually achieved? Okay, okay, let, let me give you the wait, idea. wait, wait, wait. Let, me, me, let me first, let me first, because I, I want the, the viewers, Ugandans, who are listening to us, who are, viewing, who are looking at us, to come up after this program and say, succession is this. When you do this, you do this, you do this. Transition is this. When you do this, when you do this, you have solved the problem. Okay. I because, have, for example, I have posed the question. Let's yes, let, let, yes. let him, let, because, let him. because he mentioned the three people who have since died. Okay? Now, how do you stop... <coughs> Uh, How uh, do you uh, talk uh, not all of them are dead. Right, is still alive. Yeah. Don't no. wish him dead. No, no, no. Fine. Uh. And, and Katuntu, I would imagine also you have some idea of being a president. If you don't have it, start having it. I want to respond to Professor. Uh, uh, you could yes. be one of my fans. Probably. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I would be happy to be a president of Uganda. Uh, before, uh. before Honorable Katuntu responds to Professor, this issue yes. is being discussed because of a number of factors. Fine. One mm -hmm. is that there are man maneuvers. Maneuvers are being done to change the constitution to allow Mr. Seven to contest again. That's one. Two, it is 100% known that come four and a half years from now, Mr. Seven will not be eligible. That's two. The third one, is that the political space is not open for people to contest. <coughs> How does it open? The space is not open. Yeah. Give me a you word. Give me a key to open it. Uh, you see, Professor, yes. let us not uh, oh, really, come on. Uh, you think yeah. look at these things in a way that does not really portend what we are talking about. You know for, for sure that within any area, the discussion about succession if you attempted, you professor at your age, probably tomorrow you'll be in jail. Because Please. those who have attempted, I can tell you that in 1999, Mr. Besger, Dr. Besger attempted, he was put in jail. The next person who attempted, you know him? And he was also arrested. That is in Baba's recently. But we also have people like Tinefuza who only woke up and talked about it and they were arrested. 
that space is closed. Now, the danger is that the closure of that space is going down on how people interact. You will find the same behavior in church. You are going to find the same behavior of people within the political parties. So, the, the space has been closed. And people are talking. In fact, somebody recently commented and said, where is Rabogo getting these, these energies to be talking about this thing? Is he going to be arrested tomorrow? Why has he not been arrested? Because, because to Mukonde, attempted, he was on Radio 1, and he talked about it. The following day was dropped, arrested, incinerated. That is why it is an issue that we need to talk about. Mr. Seven has played his, his role. He has run this country. But you, UNCA, can you tell me that at that time, Mr. Professor Kawijeri's thinking was so high that he knew that at 75 years, after someone has clocked 75 years, that person must not be running for president. He's tired enough. Can you tell me that Wapakaburu, Nabdere, those very intelligent people, including Jafis Masika, very intelligent people, those are the people I can mention, people who are in the sea, who said, no, 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 we can allow somebody to go up to 70, 75 years. After 75 years, that person is tired. Can you tell me? Therefore, we should not be discussing these things, even when you know <coughs> that there are maneuvers underground. Okay, let me, let me put it this, uh, uh, Honorable Nabila. <laughs> Isn't it an opportunity, a golden opportunity in the opposition mm -hmm. that in the next four years, the, the, the person who has been giving you, uh, who's been beating you in politically for the presidency, as you were in Museveni, oh. he won't be eligible. He won't be on the ballot. Mm. So isn't this an opportunity for the FDC to be the party in power in the next four years? We've worked hard to build the party called FDC. And uh, we've done it under hostile circumstances. We've done it without funds. We've done it with hostility from yeah. security agencies. And we are yet to build it. We are building it. It's work in progress. What I can say is that we see an opportunity because time has given us that opportunity. Time is a factor that you cannot beat. The generation of my father, like I say, my father is a retired civil servant. So actually, my father is in shock that his colleagues are still holding on <laughs> in whatever capacity. Because when we look at give, giving the next generation a chance, training others to take charge, that also reeks of selfishness and greed. It's shocking that elders are selfish to hand over <laughs> the reins. <laughs> and when you see a country that is that selfish, you wonder mm. whether they are willing. You know, there are those people who are suicide bombers. I can't kill them, but we should die together. So there are people who are willing to die with this country. Either it explodes with them, but they are not willing to give up. Uh, in FDC, we've carried out internal elections. We've changed leadership, Secretary General, Presidency. We've done that because that's key, changing the presidency, even in our parties. You realize that in the NRM, that's a no-go area. And that is an area where you'll find that there are whispers in corridors, members of parliament whisper. They actually say parliament won't have ears. You, you don't have to say this loud. You never know. You know, it will get back to you. You may get a phone call. So I think we are operating in a situation where we read about North Korea. Oh, you can't say much when you're okay. North Korea. But, 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 but one thing that uh, <laughs> Professor Kabojeri seems to get right is that he seems at least to be standing on the law and the constitution and the timetable. Not so, Honorable Kabudu Kaduntu, when it comes to changing leadership. Yeah, so but where is the contradiction? Where is the contradiction? So he's the saying contradiction. Saying yes, there is a <coughs> law, <coughs> but we also t must talk about politics. Yeah, but, you but get it? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, we, we've been lacking one thing which every, has been a public debate, that this country has never had a peaceful change of power. Literally every president has been bombed out of office. Do we need an insurgency? 
do we need a military coup can't we be like any other democratic country where you just look at the the people who came to power in 1986 other than in Uganda how many of them are still presidents but there are laws take for example the region Tanzania yes. what is happening we have seen four heads of state in Tanzania all of them against our only one is it depending too much from the likes of Professor Kabajer here to say we, this Uganda is missing that opportunity where a president in coming should be able to shake a so president and Tanzania are four times coming. better in development than us but, but you see, no, but okay. that, that, that's where the problem is mm -hmm. because some of you think yeah, you know I'll, I'll give you an example in South Africa when Mandela was leaving it didn't mean he was a bad leader did it mean that no. what is this issue about success success because that's what professor Kabeja is talking about that we are failing to manage success okay does let's, that mean let's, let's, as let's, i conclude let's take a one break second and we come I, back. I need to conclude on that does that mean that if for example the the, the current Kabeja is leave power that's the end of success we you beg know, to disagree. You know, Let's take a break and when, when you, we come back, when when you break, Dr. Kabajiri will, you are, you will are respond you are breaking to you. <laughs> you are breaking we'll right back. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching On The Spot. My name is Patrick Kamar and we have started here on The Spot. The succession debate that it appears in Parliament and other political institutions seem to have uh, stayed, uh, you know, avoided it in some way. Mm. Professor Tassis Kabajiri, we were saying after 31 years of President Museveni's presidency and you said you as a success story. Is it not important that you start looking at how this transition is handled? Because we are human beings. At one point, you have to transition and leave other people to lead. You see, probably the difference between uh, you and me is I'm a sociologist and a political sociologist. And my major interest and focus is history. I cannot say you have had Tanzania change leaders, and therefore Uganda should do the same. The history of Tanzania is different from the history of Uganda. The history of Kenya is different from the history of Uganda, Tanz Rwanda, Congo, Nigeria. If you don't study the history of a country, you will not understand the events. You will not understand what is going on in Uganda today. You will not understand the 31 years of Yoweri as president of Uganda. You will focus on the individual man without understanding the dynamics of society. What has produced Museveni to be the president of Uganda for these years? It's not his wish. It's not just sitting there, manipulating <laughs> everybody, <laughs> doing this. Katunt will say, the, 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 the space is closed. Who opens space? Who gave power to Museveni to be the opener of space. The, we are talking of history. Katunt, you are here. I am sitting here with you, Honorable Nabira. We are here because of our history. There is a yesterday we are sharing with, with you together. Now, when you just map out the older ones, the older ones, you are also getting old, darling. You are getting older. Katunt, when I first met you, you are not the same. You are now sharing uh, this session. People are looking at you. Tomorrow they will say you are old. So let us very, be very clear. Okay? Uganda has gone through a period of turmoil. And out of that turmoil, through a revolution, whether anybody likes it or not, Museveni didn't just walk into Kampara and take over state house. Do you suggest we go to war? Listen, listen. If you want to go to war, please, nobody stops you, Nabira, start. Just go ahead. If you think that is the way to get to State House. Because you say okay? that's how... No, no, no. Just no, no, no. If you try now, okay. if you try now, it's not, to be, it's not going to be as easy, as, although it wasn't easy, as M7 did the five years. If you are trying to get to hide now in any corner of Uganda, there are many successes the people will not allow you to hide there. So why okay. are we... So, okay, okay, okay. So the let, thing is, okay, no, you, wait, wait, let me, yes, let you, me, you, let you, me you, conclude this. Yes. You need to. There are people who are jealous of success. And I want this very clear. 
Honorable Nabira, you are saying your dad retired. Yes. You are also about to retire. You know that? Really? Yes, you are about to retire. Why? Performance, performance is Should your measure. Should I retire with you? Listen, it's not me. Uh. You, I went, to, I went to election, I lost, and I, the world continued. Performance is a measure of your success. There are people who have tried to lead Uganda and they have not succeeded as well as Museveni has done. If you cannot understand how it has happened that Museveni has been able to do this, you will be jealous of it. This is witchcraft. People talk about Okay, okay, okay. Let's you know, wish us. Hold on to your point no, there. Mr. Kamara, yes. I, think, I think we are seated here and we are allowing because of respect of an elder but i think don't he respect is me just, just oppose me why just should I, no tell, tell the viewers you need to be no, be better let me tell you be tell, be, I should tell be you respectful. that you are a better presenter what what, what, than respect the what elder. no as an elder i have to respect you oh, because that's that culture thank you very much but we cannot sit here and you lecture us oh into you know about manipulation of and and you know, getting you know that guilt train that you, we should we are jealous of success. Who is successful? Ooh. Who are we jealous of? Ooh. Because you know you can't sit here and say when we talk about succession that we are jealous of those people who are in office. We are saying we are in these offices and we are delegated. This is a delegated mandate, and the people cannot see the same face. Uh, doing something that is not moving <laughs> the economy has stagnated mm -hmm. there is unemployment mm -hmm. and you say the success in this country everyone one watching actually is shocked oh what oh. we are going through right now as a country famine mm. famine mm. where we have holes <laughs> and trickle irrigation of bottles plastic bottles and you're talking about success i think let's not get there let's even leave the word success <coughs> Okay. No, I think... No, uh, no, uh, uh, Kamara. Just I a think, moment. I think, uh, no, 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 let's, let's be very... Just, no. just one at a time, oh. because... Uh, okay. You know, okay, they, they have run the arrest. But when Professor Kabwejiri says the things he says, do you look at him as maybe he doesn't get it, or, or he is... He doesn't like the opposition in any, in any way? Does it like it? Does it, oh, does oh, it, does no. it, it doesn't. It doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. The no, nobody begrudges him because no, he listen. doesn't. Uh, hmm? but, 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 let, let me make the point. Maybe professor, you come in. Uh, and that's where people, many people, make mistakes. <laughs> I, 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 I want to repeat myself. Are we going to be a hostage of the past, or we have to move on? You see. The point I've been laboring to all these at the beginning from uh, the beginning of this conversation is you can have that success and yet you have a transition. They're not contradictory. You cannot say if Professor Kawaji and company, if they leave power today, then this country is in trouble. First of all, that is an indictment that you have failed actually to produce leadership or cadership but let us look at the institutions you've created for example the the armed forces the updf i have seen almost the pre-1986 command out when you look at the current command you are talking about people who joined the army in 1986 or uh, around there about it. and this is the point Look at the Uganda police today. When you look at, other than maybe the inspector general and the deputy, all the, the, the AIGPs, the entire leadership of the police, from, 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 from the, the, the heads of department to district police commanders, regional, they are all fresh <coughs> blood. What is the problem with the politics? Why are we stuck with Professor Kabrejiri? Can I inform okay. you? Why? Okay. Before you inform me, can I inform you? No, he is no longer there. Dr. Wakida is a researcher. Yes. Sometimes oh, when I say Professor Kabrejiri, I'm not meaning uh, yeah. you. You, no, go no, into no. you know, but Professor Kabrejiri and let, my late father belong to what they call the Save okay. Uganda movement. Okay. Uh, and, let, let, 
and, and they had their role their you time see, okay. and professor kabeja Be, please before professor kabeja doctor doctor patrick wakida you are a researcher uh, it looks like every time you've gone to research about uh, perceptions and what people like and, and the president's perception is popularity, he always comes on top. So he, he, he has come with the mandate of the people. Very good. Yeah. And I have said this yeah. before, that Mr. Seven has been a darling of the Ugandans. And he should never wait for the Ugandans to hate him. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you, you get my, my <laughs> point? That if we like you, we like you, but does not necessarily mean that want you there. <laughs> Ugandans have waited probably for Mr. M7 to say, thank you for giving me a mandate, <laughs> I have served you. <laughs> Mr. M7 has not, mm, Mandela has, style. has not done so. <laughs> now, is he waiting for Ugandans to tell him, get up? Yeah, but the uh, best thing mm, for you yeah. and your generation, Professor Kawija, mm. is for you to thank Ugandans mm. and say, we ate your cassava, mm. we ate your almonde, mm. We came into power. We served. Thank you for giving us an opportunity. Pa 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 I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I want to be a little bit personal <laughs> yes. on this. Uh, yes. Take, for example, Professor Kavadi had been elected as a member of, of, of parliament for many times in his constituency. This time round, people said, no, mm. please. And that is not uh, good. Do we have to wait for that moment? Did Professor Kavadi, for example, know the time to leave? Mm. Did you have to wait to be pushed? Well, you know, I think the difference between you and me, and me is again the start of power. I think we are talking theoretically. If you have studied power and you understand what power is, <laughs> huh, you wouldn't talk like this. Power is a very, very tasty Results. Sweet. <laughs> you are making us to be nice and, and semi warm. Let me tell you. That's the politics you want us no, no, to discuss. No, no, read it. If, if you want. If it's so tasty. I don't know. 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 I was lecturing. But look, let's get actually some conception clear. You know, each of us here. I, I haven't known you to My be... My name is Dr. Kidd. Yeah, I know. I haven't known you to be political. a parliamentary candidate. No. How many people have you come across, members of parliament, who have said, now I laugh, <laughs> you know? They stand and lose. Sorry? They is, stand is and lose. Listen, but I have told you, for example, I'm not standing again, and okay. we've discussed that good, with you. Good, 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 good. Yes. Good. Uh, how many people are like Katuntu? <laughs> have you come across? But apart from that, there has been a high saturation of elites in Uganda. Every parliament brings the majority new people. Am I right? Well, you don't talk about elites because I'm not so sure they were no. the bring elites. Okay. No. The, the, the members of parliament belong to a political elite. If you look yeah. if you look at those who have written about elites. That's true. Okay. It's okay. true. Now, every parliament has brought new people. 50%. More than 50% actually. Mm. The current parliament, how many people? Uh, 67%. Yeah. Percent. Go back. Those who were in the CA, who came back in 96, again. So the issue of change, of, such, of change of leadership has actually been going on. Unless you people are not focusing on what the facts say. Okay? Now, but the majority of the thinking about succession is focusing on one man. Let's be very honest, you people. It's focusing, it's focusing on, group, on the seven. group. Now, no, no, actually, yes, the it, it, it is group. also organizational. Yes, but you see, yes, you it's see, organizational. That, is, that is where I want you to focus very clearly and just say very frankly, okay, what has made him seven the man who has gone through elections the way he has done and has won? Let the now, wait, wait, do wait, that. wait. I'm coming to the next point. If the political party called NRM today in Uganda says we are looking around for a candidate that can win the next election. There will not be one. And we see that Museveni can be the one to win the next election. What stops NRM picking him as the next candidate? 
Shem. Okay. Okay. Can, can now, I, Shem. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Mm. This is the Shem go to NRM. You in FDC go with your success. <laughs> you win. Go ahead. And do your thing. There is no way. There is no sense of shame at all. There is no sense of shame. Power. Okay. If, if you are the political Let's, party Professor and your candidate doesn't to win, stand the four I, times I, I and lose it. Yes. Point on, you, on all right. So, please. Dr. Mahida, what makes President Museveni keep uh, you know, winning these elections, or of course the, the winning is contested, you, 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 but also research showing that he's still popular. What see, makes him you see, get um, that you see, among us Ugandans for 31 years? You see, if you studied the political economy of Uganda, there's a lot of patronage, there's a lot of government, but there's also love for Mr. M7. No doubt that Mr. M7 arrives on the scene of, polit of politics in Uganda at a time when there was a crisis. And people still respect him for that. But when you go beyond that, and you go to the district, you are going to find a group of mobilizers from the RDC, the DISO, the DPC, the GISO, all of these groups, the, the state machinery. Now, why would somebody like my mother in the village declare support for <coughs> FDA when the following day there will be nods. Nods will be distributed by these people who are cadres of one party. Why would he do that? So people vote for Mr. M7 out of respect, true, but there are those who vote, him, vote, vote for him out of fear. Coercion. Coercion. <laughs> the system is so, so much on the ground that as you walk, the government is too much, and the government is used as a machinery for campaigns for Mr. M7. But the critical thing is what I asked. Did Mr. M7, a student of Tanzania, learn anything in Tanzania? Because well, he was there. Okay, no. He saw the system of Tanzania. He has seen four presidents in Tanzania change power. Some people have argued. In fact, one of the, the mischief that uh, uh, Rabog wrote was he, call, he called them strong men. In leadership, you don't need a strong man. You, oh. don't need, you don't need a strong man. You only need a person to lead with intelli intelligence. Dr. Wakida, why uh. don't you quote what <laughs> Mr. Mseveni said when he was coming in, that the problem uh. of Africa is leaders who overstay. Who overstay. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's so what we need to do. Yeah. Uh, he said that in 1986, the problem of Africa, leaders who want to stay in power forever and 31 years is still leading. And, but Ugandans are also giving even the mandate in some sort. Let me, in some way, let me uh, go, for a, we'll go for a break and when we come back we'll also involve other people who are going to call us and tell us what they think about the succession yeah. debate. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching on the spot, and the debate was even heated <laughs> off air. <laughs> My guest tonight, Honorable Abdul Katun, to Honorable Nabila Sempala, Nabila Nagai, and uh, Dr. Patrick Wakida and Professor Tassis Kawajere. Uh, Honorable Nabila, if we don't have it, a succession debate, do you fear that we probably were headed for another episode of anarchy, tumultuous times? You know what schools have gone through? Most people know our model traditional schools that they stagnated when a headmaster overstayed. And you know that the AGM, old boys, old girls start agitating. This school is not moving forward. What we see is stagnation in Uganda. Ideas that are outdated. People talking about war that was 40 years ago or 35 years ago. And it's not relevant in this generation. Someone wants to know when is you know, the public sector going to be reformed? When is, uh, what is our transport system in Uganda? People want to know where the trade deficit is going to be sorted out. We are talking about massive unemployment. We are talking about lack of advance in technology in everything. We are talking about factories that are non-existent. We are talking about models that we want investors, but those people who are negotiating with investors don't know what's happening globally at negotiation. Who has stopped Nabira coming up with those programs to solve Uganda's problems? That's why I'm around. That's why we're challenging so, you. Look, 
Uh, you know, man, I think let's be very honest. <laughs> nobody, if anybody has stopped you from writing. What am I? I'm not talking. No, I'm no, talking. No, okay, let's, have, let's, talking. Have, let's have one at a time. Please. Professor you, Francis Kabajeri, yes. you seem not to. No, no, no. Uh, let's, the let's, rules. Be, <laughs> let's be very, very clear. <laughs> Sit down and give us a solution of all those problems you have in your mind. Why should I give you a solution yes, when, you're you. No, no. when you're we stuck? When you're stuck in an office? The, the, the thinking that is operating Uganda now is, is on the ground. What is on the ground? Manifestos is very clear. We don't now, you sit the here. Nobody has stopped FDC coming up with, this is how we are going to solve problems of employment. This is how we are going to solve problems of... of, of are we your consultants? But no, you, you, you are, know, you are, you are in a country. We are not consultants. Are you waiting on the people you are going to wait for you to be in power to know what you think? Okay. Let me tell you, that's now, what we I are think, here. I think, I think you can see clearly that you sit on the very opposite uh, extreme ends of, of the political divide. And uh, wh what I can see from Professor Tassis Kabujiri's submission is that uh, he, there's that element of the NRM where they, they speak with authority, but somehow it, it borders to some kind of arrogance. Uh, no, no, well, yes, arrogance. You know, when you act, when a, 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 a peacock walks, people it say it is arrogant. <laughs> But that's the way it works. Success in Uganda is very clear, whether you like it or not. But what is now, successful? Now, okay. you tell us, give us an alternative. Give yeah. Uganda an alternative okay. and be elected. Y you see, Honor Dr. Waikida. Yes. You, you can you go see, in you tomorrow, see, you see, declare you yourself see, a presidential you candidate. See, Let the people follow you, see, you and you lead. You see, professor. Okay. Yes. You see, professor. Yes. I am yes. so looking in the eyes. I am looking at you too. I'll tell you one thing. Yes. This country mm -hmm. belongs to all of us. Yes, and I can tell you. Who has told you? You're not and I blind. can tell you yes. that in the management of this country, mm -hmm. we should not apply arrogance, because this is a national issue that affects our children, affects okay, us, I'm going, I'm going and to be everybody. Humble. I'm going to be humble. Tell me now. When you say mm -hmm. that you is humble, you and are arrogant because you are arrogant no no then no, that's no, very wrong no no you are interpreting my behavior to be arrogant now we are performing now this is no doubt about uh, that no, pro. <laughs> okay no, no, let me doubt, no let me, about yes, let me open this yes. debate to the no, rest of no, you no, 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 who are watching us tonight so let me let me call another, another, let me invite other people online so that they can tell us what they think the questions they could be having or maybe um, <coughs> some comments to make tonight. So let me take the very first call online. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? And please be precise and concise with your question or comment. I'm um, Chisley Fred calling from Megan. Okay. I just want to thank my honorable MP Abdul Sunsu. Okay. For the tireless uh, uh, educating the, the public about the issues of the government within Uganda. Mm -hmm. My issue is this government currently is just enforcing itself on the people of Uganda. Like in Uganda, in Soga here. I don't think the M7 of the the love the people of Soga had with him. I don't think they can, uh, the current president here, this one of 1980, of 2017, yeah? even if he comes to I don't think they will get enough population like the one he used to have. But he, but he has just won an election and won Busoga just, just yeah, a few so months ago. Those elections he rigged. <laughs> okay. They are not true. Okay, let me take another call online because now we, we need to substantiate on that and uh, it will be hard to do it right now. Uh, let me take another call online. Hello. Yes, hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? I am Gobi Ibrahim, calling from Barada. Uh, Kasim, do you think we needed to talk about the succession right now? Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, because you see, I thought that the, Mr. Uh, Professor Kawajiri is such an the person. <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, I didn't... I am saying. Yes. I, I thought that Mr. Uh, Professor Kabujiri is such a very intelligent person. Is it what? But yeah. if, if, if Museveni is still with the people like Kabujiri, Museveni is not. Like, 
Okay, um, are you, we are somehow not getting some of the words you're saying, but you seem to have said that he's getting personal or something like that. Exactly. Uh, okay. Let me pick another call online. Sorry for that line which wasn't very clear from Umbarara. Let's take another caller. Hello? Hello? I have a call online. Hello? Yes, I'm Engineer Simon. Come, sir. Engineer Semaka. Come, sir. Simon. Okay. Go right ahead, Engineer. Hey, I'm calling from Tinder. All right. Go ahead, sir. So, it's very unfair to talk about succession for a particular party in a, in a forum like that. We are in multi-party dispensation. It would be very unfair if, like we have tribes in Uganda, Baganda have a way they do their thing. Uh, if you go to Busoga, they have a way they elect their leaders. Go to the Aru, they have the way they, they actually have their thing. It would be very unfair. Let's say Banyankore interfered in the affairs of Busoga or Baganda interfered in affairs of someone. I can see these are members of opposition. We can see Abdul Katun. Actually, they are in a very tight situation. I'm sure they are not very happy with the way uh, Dr. Westy has kept suppressing their, uh, their boss, that is the Mugisha Muntu. They are not very happy. But they, uh, they can't be honest here. So I think uh, it was uh, a topic that uh, maybe was put poorly. But I can assure you succession will be in parties whenever they are ready. If I have a striker, who scores? Even these dead balls, why would I risk removing the person and then I put another one? For what? Like, Professor was very honest enough that power is so sweet and very serious. So, <laughs> with power, you don't just entrust it with just like, mm -hmm. it's not like a game, like they are trying to play. And okay. uh, I can see a very bad thing, Kamara, before I conclude. There's a, a very bad syndrome that has spread it all through. Uh, this street politics. I can see Wakida is a researcher, but he's talking like a street, a street person here. He talks of, uh, you know, this country belongs to us. So what? It is, this a country, it belongs to all of us. We go for an election. If you don't win that election, forget about it. We have talked about organization of, uh, it's not about sentiment. They talk about political parties, organization. Eh? Political parties don't want to organize. They just go on TV here, talk. End of story. Okay, you, you've made your point, and I think you are, you're, you're very clear with your point. Let me take just two more calls, and then we come back to the studio. And then we'll have the, the, the panelists respond to your questions or your comments. Hello. Yes, hello. Good evening, sir. What's your name, and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Mugoya Samuel from Kajansi. Mugoya, can you make it very uh, uh, briefly in uh, 30 seconds? Few people, actually, I sometimes wonder, because like people, people like Tassus Kawajiri, why should they be coming in your feed, in your, let me say in your studios? But he seems but to be doing well, isn't he? He's taking them off. You want to gag me? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Sincerely speaking, those are the people we are talking about who are stuck in the office. Sincerely speaking, what do you think that that guy can talk about a patient? When he's among the people who have been in the office for years. Hmm? Don't you think he has son? Have you ever heard of his son being in anywhere? Let me say in some of those big offices. Those are great people. Those are the people who are dragging our country behind. What do you expect from him when he comes into your studios? Yeah, but because if we are talking about succession, we have to talk about people who will succeed them. So he has to be because it's their generation that is leading, sir. Then which idea do you think that you can get from him? Yet those are the main problems. What do you think from him? All right. You, you, you just hear his arrogance when he's talking. You heard of his first word when he came into the office. It was like, so what? So is that how we should be talking to we people? Thank you very much, Mr. Mugoya. Let me take the last call online. Hello. Mm. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, good evening. My name is Justin Okello. Yes, Justin. I'm calling from Kampala. All right. Mine is uh, to Professor, Professor Ta, 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 Kawajere. Yes. Uh, when I was, Nabila had brought the issue, and then he said, 
uh, who has stopped you from uh, submitting your things to us so that we can implement? Let me ask you, Professor, how many do you have on your desk? That you have, are you telling me that you have exhausted all what you have, what you, uh, what you have been uh, planning? Have you implemented all the programs? Because now it is like, uh, oh, you are not trying to implement the program from uh, opposition. Because now, let's give an example. We have been talking about cooperatives. We have been talking about implementing things in the Ministry of Health, agriculture, education. How many have you, have you exhausted them? Cooperatives in the TSO. Up to today, every term, every term. I mean, so are for goodness sake. Let's be a little bit uh, considerate on some of these things. All right. Thank you thank very you much, so Justin. Much. Thank you very much, Justin, and all of you who have been a part of this. Uh, Professor Tasuka Kawajiri, would you like to well, respond to you? You know, it's very difficult in the short time we have to be conclusive. But let's be very, very clear now. Honorable Katuntu was saying we don't get locked in our history. But we can't dismiss it. Because we have a yesterday. That explains why we are here. Secondly, this issue of generation taking away from another mm. is misplaced concreteness. Learning. Yes. Just kill your parents, kill your fathers, <laughs> and, and, and leave. You, you will also be killed by your own children. The issue, society, eh, today, 78% is below is 30 years. That's the population of Uganda. When people are looking for achievements, that's a big achievement. There have been more survivors in these 30 years than probably ever before. The population of Uganda has grown much faster than ever before. Now, if you want to kill the old ones in order to be in charge, there are enough records in history where power in the, in the hands of the unknown gets abused even more tremendously than, than we think. So the issue in Uganda today is not we the younger ones take over. That's not the issue. We want people who are in charge, who can be respected by the population, who can do, who are problem solvers. Leaders are problem solvers. Now, does it mean that when you are in power like we have been in 31 years, we have solved all the problems? Mm. Absolutely not. You solve one problem, another one comes. You talk about employment. Okay? If you had only one university or two, now you have about 50 universities producing more. How can't you have people on, on, the, on the road? Now, do you at the same time build industries as, as you produce graduates? Yeah. Or do you stop? Now, any, any person who has serious social analysis, we want to look at how do you produce industry? Why have we been crying out for investors, 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 and they come of them, some of them come and they, they, they cheat us and so on. Why haven't we had enough industrial, industrial people, industries okay. in Uganda? Right. So the, the, the challenge that I'm coming up concluding, because I don't think we have much time, the issue is not get out and we young people take over. That is naive, very naive, very naive. It's not a problem solving in society has nothing to do with age. The younger ones, Jesus came in the, in the, on the market. And but, in but, but the, that's, in the, that's the issue. And then he solved the problem. In the USA, they have just elected a man who is 20 years old and the one who has just retired. Exactly. They are talking about transition of exactly. leadership from one Now, transition, transition, is, about transition age, is, age is not necessarily the Exactly. Issue. Now, the whole, when you the, remove that, yeah, then, but, then transition, but you transition, wait, transition as one of the, uh, one of the contributors, transition is how to select the leaders. If we have a multi party system, leaders are produced by the parties. Those who compete for power. Let FDC do their thing. Let DP do their thing. Okay. Let us we, uh, do our thing. And let's be in the market with the population of Uganda, young people. The majority, let's get a uh, doctor here. You are 29 or 30 or 40. Get there and be elected by the majority of young people. If you can do it well, do it well. All right. But let us not say. Honorable Abdul Katuntu, in, huh? in, in conclusion, I want you to give us your concluding remarks because we are coming to the end. 
Well, Hello. thank you very much, uh, Patrick. I, I think we live in different worlds, me and Professor Kabejere. Uh, we are certain different generations. <laughs> yes, but That's I use sure. my words uh, in, in a more deliberate manner. I didn't use generation, I used the different words. Our viewpoint of politics and the world is very different. Uh, the word used by Dr. Wakeda was about impunity. Let me tell you, I have many colleagues within the NRM, younger people, and when we are discussing national issues, we don't have that sort of arrogance and difference because we think our fate, our future is intertwined. Uh, but when you have some people looking at the world differently, and by the way, this issue of, of transition, it, is not, it should not only be debated in the NRM, it should be across the political divide. Because I don't want people to imagine that we are looking at the NRM, there is that engineer who was calling. You, you know, political parties in Guinea are public institutions. Today, we are talking about the NRM because the NRM is in power. If the NRM would just collapse today, whether UFDC and NRM were equally affected. So we want these institutions, because they are public institutions, to have democratic tendencies and credentials. That's why we have an interest in the NRM, and the NRM should actually have an interest in FDC or any other political party, because tomorrow, one of those political parties would be in power. And for any reason, if it does not have democratic credentials, then we will all be in trouble. So, the, the prof and you, Patrick, you raised the issue, for example, about uh, what's going on in the United States, yeah. where you have a, a younger uh, president being uh, succeeded by the, uh, by the old one. I, I think the, the sort of gambling going on in Washington today shows you the mistakes you make when you take those sort of decisions. Because you have a leader who is out of touch with the reality in life. He just doesn't know what's going on. So it's not the best of examples to give anyway. Uh, my view is uh, we should learn history because we need to pick lessons from that history and we don't repeat them. But if you get professors of history who actually don't pick lessons from the history but propagate the same history, then we are in trouble as a country. Okay, thank so you very much. what I think people like me and others who think like me, we need to debate this transition across the political divide. There are people who have been there and it's time for them to go. It is time for them to go. We don't have to wait to, for them to be pushed like they pushed Professor Kabejer out of Igara. Well, never All mind. Right. <laughs> uh, Honorable Abila, you're, you're parting short tonight. I'm parting short is saying that Ugandans, this is our country, and we don't need people lecturing us and patronizing mm. us because of a history that they were very active in creating. When we talk about turbulence, there were people who manipulated that turbulence. We will not get there. We want to say, where do we go from here? I want a Uganda that is progressing at a pace that is actually measured regionally. When you look at Tanzania and Kenya, they are ahead of us. It's like we are trailing behind. It's like this leadership debate, when we have to leave office, we have to transit. The top office, the presidency, that's one office representing 35 or to 40 million Ugandans. One person cannot monopolize it for four, yes. four decades. I think that's, that's an anomaly in okay. any country. Uh, Dr. Patrick, <laughs> your concluding <laughs> remark. You see, for me, it has been a pleasure sitting with Professor Kawajiri on the same desk because he represents the generation of my grandfather. Uh, but what is very critical is that all Ugandans should... I hope that's a compliment. Yes. You, Ugandans should unite and thank this generation of the grandfathers and say you've served. They must show them love and promise that they will protect them. Probably that's the fear they have. No. But in our culture, all the people are respected. Mm. But I can tell you, if you did not respect your grandchild, he will kick you to the wall. Yeah. So please, yeah. we wish you well. Time has come, you have served. Go and rest 
you know, saturation of elites, you will be, you will also become my age. And you are, and, and, and we will stop him. Oh, you are. 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 Then, study society. Society has its ways of handling situations. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen and ladies. And, and I can tell you, in Uganda, <laughs> we are not. But we even have a civil servants also retiring. Yes, but you see, you retire when you want I, to retire. Dad, there are many. If, the if, if, <laughs> do you know? Uh, uh, if, if, if society still says, if, if society still says, Katuntu, we want you, you will be letting them down if you don't. Right. Well, the and, is mine. and 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 the, the, you, the younger generation, nobody is stopping you from producing the new order. Come up with a new ethos. Nobody will stop you. All right, thank you very much. Nobody the will stop you. The last word will be, I'm sure, but you must be the right. people of Uganda, <laughs> the people of Uganda who are the owners of this country, have say to choose their leaders. So it's up to you, uh, yes. come 2021, to choose the next set of leaders. And when these people disagree, it's not that because they hate each other. I have a, a deep feeling it's because they love their country more. Good night and God bless Uganda.